Recent calls to end the war in Afghanistan come with complications. This is the fighting season, the summer months when poppy farmers are not in their fields and mountain paths are clear of snow. And the fighting is particularly intense this year, as the Taliban look to retain control of territory, particularly in the east and south. For NATO and U.S. forces, that means fresh offensive operations. For the Taliban, a series of assassinations and high-profile attacks. Mohammad Stanikzai is the chief executive of the Afghanistan Peace and Reintegration Program. He says talks are already underway, but the Taliban will not be allowed to again control Afghanistan like they did in 2001. It is not to return back the emirat of the Taliban. It is that we provide the opportunity for Afghans that they can be part of the, of the society, of the political uh, system, but at the same time we have to respect the wishes of all the people. All people of Afghanistan do not want that rule again. And they understand that, that they cannot rule the country. Afghanistan is war weary. The Soviets invaded in 1979. Civil war broke out in 1992. Then, nearly 10 years ago, international troops took on the Taliban. Afghan parliament member Fauzi Kufi says she wants her two daughters to grow up in peace. She worries that hard-won civil rights, especially for women, could be lost. Political uh, rights of individuals will be limited. Our concern is that we will lose all this, uh, you know, uh, civil rights. Either lose them or they will be limited. What are we going to achieve? What are we going to lose? Is it going to guarantee peace in Afghanistan? A peace with justice? A peace with dignity? NATO considers women's rights, the Afghan constitution, and an end to violence non-negotiable. Kufi says talking with individuals is fine, but she worries about the Taliban as a faction. Our concern is not individual um, reintegration of Taliban. Because, uh, you know, that individual does not contribute to peace or war. Either they're with Taliban, they cannot increase the war, or they, if they join the government. Our concern as women, as uh, people who believe in a democratic country, uh, our concern is Talibanization of the process. Further complicating a negotiated peace are regional disputes, tribal alliances, and widespread lawlessness. But in the end, Stanikzai says Afghans must make peace amongst themselves. One thing the Ushia language may make clear, nobody will serve the interests of Afghans other than Afghans themselves. And this is, this is something that Afghans should, be, should become united in order to save this country. And definitely we need the support of regional countries, international community, but the definite factor is the Afghans themselves to put their differences aside and come together and look to the game and not to be the victim of the game of others. For now, the talks are behind closed doors and the fighting continues. But with public support in the West waning, and Afghans themselves eager for peace, the push is on to find a way to end a war that has cost so many lives and caused so much damage. Phil Littner, VOA News, Kabul.